The need to procure a meal is a driving force in nature's arms race. And mollusks have evolved an astonishing variety of feeding tools for the job. Peering inside an abalone's mouth, we can see one of nature's brilliant and bizarre creations. It's called a radula, a rasping ribbon of teeth like a chainsaw blade. In some mollusks, these teeth contain a hard iron mineral that grants them supreme durability. This electron micrograph of the abalone's radula shows why it's so adept at tearing through kelp. Other mollusks have evolved radulas suited for different tastes. This one opens barnacle shells. This one can scrape through animal flesh. The compulsion to eat and to avoid being eaten has inspired endless invention. The war began among bottom dwellers confined to the sea floor. But half a billion years ago, mollusks took the arms race into another dimension. An innovative mollusk evolved the ability to swim by floating off the bottom. Examining the Nautilus, we can see how evolution transformed a mere bottom feeder into a buoyant battleship. At its head, a mass of 90 or more muscular tentacles can extend from sheaths to seize its prey. Nautiloids found a way to swim by jet propulsion. Water is taken in and rapidly forced out of a funnel that steers and propels the Nautilus. It evolved from the ancient foot to become like a flexible exhaust pipe that also serves as a rudder. A thin sheet of muscle, the mantle, surrounds the internal organs while at the same time secreting the hard calcium layers of its famous chambered shell. An ancient nautilus was the original jaws, the first animal with vertically clamping mouthparts. Within this jaw is its radula, with teeth that can shred a lobster's discarded shell. Every feature of the Nautilus design is a legacy from its ancestors and the world they encountered. But what set this line of mollusks apart from all that came before was a key evolutionary breakthrough, buoyancy. In time, the floating fortresses were outgunned. but mollusks fought back. Once again, mollusks retooled. One line embarked on a risky scheme. It would gain speed by forfeiting more and more of its heavy protective shell. In squid living today, only a thin remnant of shell remains on the animal's inside. Now it provides support for a streamlined body that's become a kind of natural rocket. Some squid are capable of accelerated bursts, traveling as fast as 20 miles per hour. Compared to the mollusks that came before, squid are superb swimmers. They improved on the jet propulsion system of nautiloids, sucking water into their body, then expelling it forcefully. 
and over time, they evolved a mantle wall that was muscular and strong. Elastic fibers in the muscle intensify the recoil that expels the jet of water. Triggering this action at lightning speed is a nerve system wired with giant nerve fibers. And every squid is powered by three hearts, which can pump blood and deliver oxygen as fast as in humans. The demands of the survival game push this line of mollusks a long way from their snail-paced origins. But beyond their speed and evasive maneuvers, squid went even farther, venturing into the deep sea. Some have evolved to live so deep that they are below the reach of many predators. Scientists have long marveled at the extraordinary ability of the octopus to compress itself. Octopuses are incredibly fluid animals. Since they're not restricted by bones or a shell, they can really take up any of the space that's around them in any way they choose. Being mollusks and having no shell, they're faced with challenges that most mollusks aren't faced with. So they have to protect themselves in other ways. One way is the miracle of camouflage. The octopus can change color and texture in an instant. For the mollusk without a shell, nature invented the ultimate skin yet another brilliant design for the arms race. They are able to make their skin very bumpy or pointy or in some areas and flat in other parts of the body, they can change the color. It's very instant. They can change from looking like a rock to looking like a clump of algae, which is absolutely incredible in my mind. Behind this gift for disguise, is a large brain powering tens of thousands of color patterning cells in the skin, called chromatophores, which contain tiny sacs of pigment able to expand at the twitch of a nerve impulse. Just below are cells that act like mirrors, allowing the octopus's skin to reflect iridescent colors. A color pattern appears when the chromatophores are expanded. When they contract, the white or reflecting cells are revealed. Chromatophores can serve other purposes. The poisonous blue ring octopus flashes its colors as a warning. Well, blue rings are one of the few octopuses that are deadly to humans. And this is warning coloration because they are so venomous. It's always very, very important to keep your distance or if you do approach them, to approach them with an understanding of how quick and aggressive they can be. The range of colors and body shapes and behaviors being made by these animals, it's just absolutely out of this world. And when you dive in this area, you just feel like under every rock is a surprise. Whether it's a small blue ring or a giant with tentacles six feet long, the octopus has become a commanding presence on the sea floor. Its early ancestors were at the mercy of shell breakers, such as crustaceans. But the arms race has taken the mollusks a very long way. Now the crab must reckon with the octopus. An adversary equipped with intelligence an awesome ability for disguise. 
and a devastating eight-armed attack. I think octopuses have really done well for animals that have soft bodies, that live in the bottom, that make the best of their daily routine. I think they have done quite well and maybe rival humans in some ways. One wonders why some animals last for huge amounts of time and some go extinct very quickly. The Nautilus is just a great design. A humble clam, a beautifully evolved squid or a Nautilus, we can tell that certainly they all evolved from a single common ancestor. We see structures which definitely unite them as a single group. It's a mollusk. Mollusks, as a group, have proved after the fact to be very adaptable. Something about their body plan has enabled them to explore virtually every niche that one can. They have manage to find their way to almost every kind of environment in the biosphere today. Do mollusks possess some secret weapon in the battle for survival? The simple truth is, they endure because their body plan adapts, endlessly and ingeniously. Across millions of years, they have shown that the ability to change in an ever-changing world is perhaps the greatest secret of the survival game.